Let's go! Okay, follow on the bike, not, not walking. We are very fast. Okay, I need uh, my co driver. I need directions. No, 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 no. Leader, come to us. This is Tino handling the van, enjoying himself. He's like right, driving on the first floor of a building. Okay, left or right? Left, oh, left. Okay, I'll continue the video. That's Mayur by enjoying himself at the back. Hey. No riding is viable. <laughs> Mayur. Mayur, just chilling out over here. And madam, of course. No, 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 no. Mayur is doing your work. <laughs> what my work? Navigation. Oh, so we got... <laughs> <laughs> and we got mutton over here on the road. This is just fun having mutton. Oh, mutton! All of us are dying for non veg. So, give me your opinion. Uh, you know, what does it feel? First, feel. Yeah, it out. How does what it feel? How does a van feel? Amazing, dude. I mean, it feels like I am uh, back to my old days when I used to work with Tata Motors. I used to ride, ride such trucks in uh, vans. It's good. Top of the world. I am yes. just wondering how were you keeping up with us yesterday? Like all of us were at least 150 plus and this van was keeping up. So. It's just experience. What do you say, Tino? You know? yeah. If you are a biker, then you can do anything. So our ride, uh, day 4 ride to Dhola Vida first um, and then from there we'll go to uh, Dhordo, check into the hotel, um, come back to a place called Kalu Dongar, Kalu Dongar, yeah Dongar, sounds like Marathi only you know, Kachi. The group is all set. As you said, you have to uh, stop at Reliance first. Yeah, the, for fuel, for fuel. Okay. Ashutosh. You lead till the fuel pump. We are heading out from uh, Serena Beach Resort. What a beautiful stay we've had. Two days. The location is amazing. The beach is absolutely unpolluted. Um, Weather is amazing. I mean, for a coastal location, the weather is brilliant. Uh, it's not humid at all, surprisingly. In fact, uh, we were sitting at the beach with our, uh, uh, you know, warm jackets on because it's, it's extremely cold uh, as the sun goes down, basically. And all through the day, the weather is also, uh, the, you know, the weather is pleasant. It's not bad at all. We had lunch at a, because this resort is purely veg. They don't uh, serve non-veg at all, not even eggs. Uh, you know, for uh, lunch, we <coughs> head out into Mandvi town. And uh, there's, a, there's an amazing place called, uh, there's an amazing place called Nurani restaurant. So we, what we did is we basically ate amazing non-veg food at the small restaurant in town. In fact, the restaurant owner was so happy to see all of us there. You know, he was clicking pictures and personally making sure that we get what we need. 
uh, very sweet of him and from there uh, you know mehul mayur and parag who's riding in front of me uh, these three cheda brothers uh, they 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 are basically from this area right so they have uh, their village is not more than i think about 5 or 6 six odd kilometers away from this place uh, so they took us to the main market in mandwi and said you can buy some local um, uh, authentic uh, uh, you know uh, banni and um, chunnis and all of that and they for the men they say it's called koti or something which is basically a waistcoat pretty colorful stuff uh, so they said you can you know want to buy something for your respect respective spouses uh, you know we can take you there and we went there the idea was uh, so i called my wife and i asked her what do you want and she gave me a list of 10 things and asked me to choose or go figure myself <laughs> so what i landed up doing is um, bought almost everything now all of that shopping material is in the back of van what i'm planning to do is once i reach pune i'm going to uh, drop the bike uh, at the showroom for servicing and all of that and i'm going to uh, request ask my wife to come in the car and pick me up because i've got um, three bags i can't carry them back home with me yeah and the new new unfortunate development is that you know uh, today morning while i was cleaning my motorcycle i realized that um, my rear wheel rim is also bent trust my luck so now i have two bent rims marchesini forged magnesium alloys i don't think are uh, meant for indian roads you know they can't be so fragile and not that you know i've not been maintaining or checking the tire pressures appropriately i've been doing that uh, at every fuel stop almost and the tire pressures have been holding up uh, pretty true you know and i've been trying to avoid the potholes also so it's not that i'm riding rough or anything of that sort right i mean making sure that i'm cautious while i'm riding uh, and yet i have this uh, bent rim really don't know what to say uh, and you know I, as i had said in my earlier video <laughs> that the insurance companies do not cover wheel rims unless you specifically ask for the wheel rims to be added and uh, i believe no i i not i i don't believe i am pretty quite pretty sure that the premium for the insurance um uh, you know spikes up with these ad additions we are stopping at this is our first fuel stop right after the resort to make sure that we tank up my iphone gave a given error right now saying liquid detection in your charging cable or whatever so i have to remove that i'll have to wipe it off and then um we plug it is it doing charging not available why ha huh, charging not available liquid has been detected in the lightning connector disconnect to allow the connector to dry charging may now may not okay All right, so let it dry out. There's no point in charging. Let's give it some time. There was too much of mist. All right, guys, I'll keep recording stuff um, as we move along. Cheers.
this is one thing that everybody has to be extremely careful of uh, while coming to Gujarat um, and Rajasthan the cows and look at the size of this one amazing white run Roads are beautiful, amazing. Uh, you know, you everybody on these roads would feel like uh, speeding up, but please don't do that because uh, very unpredictable uh, cows, sheep, goat crossing the roads. So you know you have to be careful. I just said that and uh, our Ashutosh Singh sped up ahead on his balti. He's probably rushing ahead to go and find a good spot for us all to stop. We are waiting for uh, Ashish to come. His uh, Denali mounting lamp uh, broke I think so they've stopped at the back this is Kavda we're gonna take a ride from here to uh, Dhordo you know we crossed Kach uh, sorry we crossed Bhuj uh, some time back and it's so so serene it is so beautiful yet very raw and uh, Bhuj has been a earthquake prone area Bhuj has been an earthquake prone area um, and uh, huh? 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 <coughs> so Bhuj has been an earthquake prone area and some really bad earthquakes have hit that uh, geography um, but the beauty about you know uh, these Kachi people or all Gujarat is that you know you need to learn how to rebuild from them they know how to rebuild these people people don't lose their heart they don't lose their heart they rebuild always that's a good thing about this region something to learn If you can see the map, it is uh, literally a straight road. The road till Dordo and Dolavira. I I think I pronounced it incorrectly sometime earlier. Uh, it's pretty much, you know, absolute straight line like an arrow. The road condition uh, is amazing. It's beautiful. The weather is perfect. That's our van. And they are doing some photography. I'll try and give them some good shots. forces for rescue and what is this an ambulance which is toppled over <laughs> that's interesting ambulance which is toppled over I'm letting all the boys go uh, up ahead so I can get some good riding shots
הכל. स्ट्रेचिंग इट The problem is not the speed. It will do a little bit more. The problem is no wind protection, and you have to redline each uh, gear. Huh. I'm I'm pushing the bike left. <laughs> bike yeah. 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 Yeah.
फोटो चल रहा है आपका वीडियो 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 सब लोग आया करो <laughs> चलो भैया वी आर हेरिंग टू डोला वीरा एंड अपेरेंटली um from where we are it's about 70 kilometers and apparently the roads um when we uh, the 30 kilometers of of stretch is uh, basically no road so there's no tarmac um uh, we'll see but uh, you know you can't miss uh, dhola vida when you are coming to kach kach to karna hi hai i mean kach nahi kiya to kya kiya is the tagline but along with that you should also come and visit the uh, nearby places around the white run and that's why we are heading to dhola vida apparently again uh, uh dhola vida has been opened up only about a year back and they're still building it now i really don't know what are the building and what is this place uh probably some ancient civilization um archaeological site i don't know we'll go and check it out and then we are also on our way back from dola vida we are going to be uh, going to kala dungar now kala dungar is a place where uh, which is basically a vantage point um and you can uh, see the entire run from uh, kala dungar so it's a vantage point for the for look at the birds formation lovely can can you see this i hope i'm capturing this well so they are just floating around I let the others uh, go ahead. Let Ashutosh sing me at the back. For now, is there someone else we and them? Yeah, there is. Let him go ahead. Let's uh, parak again. Yeah, so now this is a full group. You see what I mean? These cows and bulls and buffaloes—they're very curious. They don't understand roads and no roads and whatever. For them, this is their territory, and um, I think we should keep it like that. Let them have fun. You guys, when you come here, be careful. Looks like this is going to be a muddy. dusty ride and with two bent rims we have to be a bit cautious
so dhola vira where we are going um is basically an archaeological site like i had uh, said earlier uh, in this valley civilization so we'll see like i had said broken roads but what do we have to lose any more anyway both the rims are bent you know we might as well uh, enjoy dhola vira and our route to dhola vira what a beautiful and not a wrong decision at all in fact uh, an amazing uh, sight very scenic route now this patch is only uh, mud and 30 kilometers is only this type of road so you know by the time we get out of dola vira and back towards uh, kala dungar you know we all i think um, especially me because i am riding as a tail because i want to take footage and cover most of these riders uh you know i'm going to be completely mucked up in in, in mud so i'm speeding up ahead now because i got tired of um, eating mud behind everyone and i couldn't resist uh this dirt road you know if only if i had uh you know nobi tires it would have been much more better fun right now i'm running super courses but nonetheless you know hyper is brilliant i'm having a great time and this is fun riding around you know if i had the dirt tires nobi tires even the rally stars it would have been much more you know fun look at look at this these are all this is salt that you see you know my rear wheel is uh, all over the place actually but thanks to my uh, dirt and motocross uh, background this is amazing fun I don't know why the multi guys are riding the way they are. They could have a ball of a time on this stretch. They should be gunning the adventure tourers, popping wheelies. Yeah. I miss my multi star sometimes. But that's okay. I will pick up the Desert X. The Ducati Desert X. And then it will be fun riding on such kind of terrain. Vira, this ride landed up being just about a good fun ride, uh, some photo opportunities and uh, we could not see any Harappa civilization uh, or anything, you know, we had to rush back to Thordo to see the run sunset. Now we are heading to the actual run, white run. 
What a chaotic day, man. All we've done all day today is riding. In a way, it's good. But then, a um, lot of... Uh, everybody is uh, tired. Some confusion. And no time to really stop and chill and, you know, enjoy the place that we are at and all of that. So we are just rushing. We reached Dolavira. Halfway, um, Ashtosh had a flat tyre. And um, I was ahead at the border security post check post and no network. So uh, everybody were hungry. Finally, when they all arrived, we checked in one restaurant there. He said it will take about one and a half hour to get our dinner, uh, sorry, lunch ready. So we decided that let's go towards Dolavira. We are already running late. So we went to Dolavira and there we, all we did is just went there at the reception, ate lunch in a extremely rushed manner and immediately sat on the bikes to come back to run on time to be able to see the sunset. Now when we reached here at the resort, everybody is again rushing us, not even letting us unwind, you know, letting me unwind, have a cup of tea. Nothing. The moment we reached, just do your entry and get up, get up, get up, we have to go. That's not how long distance touring is done, at least not for me. But yeah, I mean, you can't blame anyone here. Uh, everyone's um, tired and on the edge. And nobody knows, everybody wants to do everything in a very little time that we have. And, not, and that's kind of uh, pushing beyond your comfort zones. Now, tomorrow and day after again, we have two long days of riding because we are in Dhodo today at the White Run. Tomorrow morning we leave for Barodra and uh, that's about 500 kilometers, approximately 500 kilometers from here. And then we stay the night there just for one night. And uh, the next day morning, uh, early morning, we leave for Pune, which is again 582 kilometers. So, virtually we are at the fag end of our overall run of catch ride. Overall good fun. I just want to now take my riding gear off and freshen up and, you know, have a cup of tea, relax unwind hopefully they haven't planned anything like a school picnic okay abhi sunset dekh liya now let's go for the moon rise and all that you know <laughs> because while i understand that you're going to be you know you want to capture everything and see everything and all of that you know we are just cutting it all too tight so this is what happens when uh, even when there is one small um, breakdown, your entire itinerary on a road trip can go for a toss. And when you know that a small breakdown can do that to you, um, you know, especially in a big group, one should be cautious uh, to make any uh, ad hoc random plans. We should stick to the itinerary. Dola Vira was not on the itinerary. Anyway, we did what we did. It was a good riding experience. I rode like Dakar. <laughs> because I have an open face helmet and um, I couldn't ride behind everyone. 
I was tired riding behind everyone. Not that I've been riding behind everyone all the time, but I wanted to capture some good footage. So, uh, some confusion happened there because these people took random stops and uh, I had no clue about it. I was waiting for them at the at that stretch. So this is the border security force uh, entry to the white run. You have to buy the ticket from uh, that um, from the hut. There's a counter inside. Give the vehicle details, rider ride or person details. Then do your entry at this check post here and then get in. We've entered, uh, we've crossed the border security check post and we've entered the white run. It's about three kilometers from the uh, check post. We've just started our journey. The rush is because uh, you don't want to miss that view. Uh, you know the view is amazing when you look at the entire white run uh, and uh, the rush is because uh, you know it's only open for uh, four months in a year so you want to reach there before the sunset and then there's nothing to sit around you can just park your motorcycles and look at the white endless horizon and to the other side i believe is the um, is a friendly neighbor <laughs> pakistan and those people those are people guys they look like ants queuing up in the run. That's the white run. This is uh, this is a ride for the run. The ride is busy chewing something. Uh, the riders are already in the safari. What is your name? Huh? Rais? 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 After the sunset, you know, the group sat sat down at the run. Uh, it was absolutely peaceful and beautiful. We were there for quite some time. Uh, you know, clicked some selfies, some pictures. Um, you know, and as expected, you know, some of them wanted to be there for the moonrise, uh, but we got to know that uh, the border security force would not allow that. Uh, you know, you know, they won't allow people to be there after sunset for long. 
the the moonrise was slated to be at about 9:45 p.m. Um, and it was too late, uh, and it would we would not be allowed to be there for that long. So we clicked some group pictures, um, just enjoyed the serene beauty of the White Run, um, and uh, you know decided to come back to the resort because we had a long day of riding ahead of us back home. On my way back, I took a camel ride from where we were to the where to where our bikes were parked. Good morning. Good morning. We are all set for our journey back home. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Heading uh, on our journey back home now. I'm not going to be putting the GoPro on my helmet, keeping it in Zubair's van. See you guys. Overall, our ride back home was amazing, quite swift, uh, amazing company, amazing riding, good, uh, brilliant riders. Uh, you know, and we ended our journey on Sunday at around 5.30 p.m. Uh, at Legacy, where Legacy gave us a grand welcome back home. Amazing fun, guys. Thanks for watching.